Hey guys, it's me. Today, I was doing my daily research on the internet. I came across a video that I thought was very interesting, and then it gave me severe anxiety. Dr. Beglider needs to remove a very expensive diamond ring from the sister of its owner before it causes permanent damage to her finger. My finger feels like it's gonna explode. <laughs> Well, there, it's not gonna explode. It might like break off, die. I hate to interrupt this video so quick, but there's this moth, yay big, fluttering around my room right now. He's just chilling, walk on my wall. Boy! <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna just let him do his thing while I do mine. Let's start with some ice, please. Ice on it. All right, so let's just rest your hand between these. You break your finger. School nurse be like, put some ice on it. Ice, the universal healer. Ice to humans is like rice to iPhones. Oh, let me explain this before. So this guy is not her husband. The girl with the ring is his wife's sister. So they were going ring shopping together and she was using her finger to measure the ring. Oh, you know what? She secretly cheated with her sister's mans. We don't know this. Hi, honey. It's his girlfriend. I get it. And we can't let her know that there's a ring involved or that he is even going to be proposing today. Yes, I will pick you up and we'll go to the airport straight away. Okay, that adds so much more stress to it. Not that he's proposing today, but the fact that he got a flight later that day. I don't know about you guys, it take me 40 minutes to get to the airport. So it's like, you gotta pick up wife, you gotta take her to the engagement destination, and then propose. Are we close, Doc? It's not working as well as I would have hoped. The cold compress didn't work. Her finger is starting to turn color. It's starting to become what we call a model. What's wrong with my finger, Doc? Modeling is when the skin starts to turn purple. Whoa! It's swelling up like a balloon. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. That bad boy's gotta come off. At least you'll still have your middle finger to point at your sister after you lose a finger for trying on her ring. I'm afraid we have no other choice right now but to cut it. That's okay. Do what you gotta do, Doc. Sorry, sis. But we need to act. We need to act fast. It's the only way to get the ring off. What? What? Okay, no way this could be real. What? This is like a show, so it's like untold stories of the ER, except they reenact the thing. This is my first time watching it. But no way some dude could just be like, yeah, sorry, the fingers gotta go. I paid a good 1500 for that ring. What? I mean, they dress nice. She got that I'm privileged haircut, and he wearing a suit, so they probably got money. I'm talking probably like a $20,000 ring. But still, that's a finger. <laughs> Okay, see, this is not okay because the homie over here, he swoodily swaddled. Oh, look at it. Look at him go. Man, you're gonna die. I'm, I'm gonna kill you after this. Enjoy your final few moments fluttering around my carpet. It's soft, I know. You're gonna cut off my finger? No, 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 no. Not the finger. The ring. What? <laughs> Twist. That ring that you paid so much money for is getting cut. What? What? When it's like, sorry, your sister's fingers gotta go. Alright, whatever. Do what you gotta do, doc. I'm sorry, sir. The ring's gotta go. Nani? What? What? No, 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 no. There's people like this on the planet, like a ring, they could fix it and like put it back together, but like a finger is over. You'll never be able to count all five pigs again. Michael, we, we've tried other options, it didn't work. I don't understand. If her finger is dying anyway, why not cut off the finger and save the ring? Leave my finger alone. I can't just regenerate a missing finger. What do you think I am? A lizard? <laughs> what do you think I am? A lizard? He probably is. Man, I wouldn't be surprised if he regenerated. What? He's straight up cold-blooded. Michael, you can always get a new ring. You can't get a new finger. Sandy, I think I'll take that ring cutter now. Ring cutter? I'm on it. Oh. <laughs> She's so excited. She's like, ruining engagements since 1999. This guy is so stupid, I wanna punch him. What? It's like it's her choice, isn't it? Or was this like before feminism? Woman's not allowed to have control over the fate of her finger. Allow the nearest man to make a decision for you. It's a freaking ring. If you cut the ring, you can like have a jeweler like mold the ring back together. What about reattaching it? I've heard of that. You can reattach a finger, right? A finger? What? What? You know, you can like attach the ring. You cut it. Oh my God, you can like mold it back together. He want him to cut the finger off, have the ring so he can fly to Cancun and propose while sis over here spends the next week in a hospital. Wait, can, can they reattach it? Is that, is that, I don't know if that's a thing. I don't think they can. That's like a lot of nerves to like put back together. I don't know, man. I dropped out of med school before we could learn this. <sighs> Doctor, please wait. Let's think about this a moment. Michael, the time for thinking has passed. We gotta act now. Hi. It's his girlfriend, again. Yeah, everything's cool. Mm. Shh. Shh. 
Just walk out of, oh, he makes me so mad. Just walk out of the room. Just so you know, I am really sorry about this ring. I understand the anxiety about shopping for the right posing and whether or not they'll even say yes. She'll say yes. <laughs> you telling me there's a chance that she'll say no? She'll say yes. Oh my God, imagine she cut off her finger for that ring and then she said no. He deserves that. Or they cut the ring, he fixes it, goes through all that trouble. I wanna see him suffer. I'm trying to do as little damage as I can, but. That's if I can even get through this ring. I haven't even made a dent in this sucker at this point. What is this thing? Is this platinum? Yeah, only the best for my girlfriend. <laughs> He's so stupid. Somebody please take this man out of the room. Escort him out. Let him sit in the lobby. We will bring you your ring. When it's done, it's taken care of. Like, you are being so annoying. Like, this isn't even me trying to get a ring off, and I'm already frustrated as heck listening to him talk. No wonder. I have an idea. I'll be right back. She's really good with her facial expressions. Always looking like she's gonna ruin someone's life. But they couldn't get it off, so what's next? Cause I really wanna know too. Like do they like slice it off, saw it off? Like what, what you doing next, doctor? Would you mind please? Shut up. Thank you. Three. What are you gonna do to me? What? Is this the 1900s? We gonna use the good old drill. Pew pew! I hope your finger doesn't come off with it. This is a heavy duty piece of equipment. This is a high powered drill that has a drill bit that's encrusted with diamonds. So we've essentially enlisted the help of diamond to get through this diamond platinum ring. This next cut is abutting some more diamonds. Just the vibration alone from the power tool is gonna set free some of the other diamonds. I know it's so cringy and it's so fake, but like this is supposedly what happened. She's fine. You really wanna talk to her, huh? Um, okay, well, well, yeah, let me just pass the phone over. Just a moment. At this point, I would foil all of his plans. I'd be like, yeah, so I try on a wedding ring. I'm, I'm gonna ruin, ruin your proposal. Like, making me talk to her when the doctor's like doing the surgery, trying to get this ring. Look. I, I needed some water. Hi, hi, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, there's just like jackhammers everywhere. Yeah, what do you mean proposal? Okay, at this point in this video is making me angry. Like the level of loyalty. You gonna put me through all this and make me talk to her. Oh man, I hated that when I was a kid. Like it'd be a relative that I don't even know, that I've never even met. Maybe they met me when I was a baby. Before I could formulate a memory. And then my mom will hold up the phone and be like, Hey, talk to her. Say hi. Hi. Hi, it's your auntie Janice. I've never met you, but I would love to meet you one day. How's life? How's school? How's your mom? How's your dad? Of course, I know you hate surprises. I'll totally tell you before he does anything stupid like buy a ring. Woohoo, second cut, fist pump, done. <laughs> I want to take my rings off now. Like, the fact that I can't slide it past my knuckle, like, okay, no, no, no. Mine aren't that tight. Mine aren't nearly that tight. If I really wanted to, I could... <laughs> Spit on it. Slide it off. That bad boy looking like a thick hot dog. Thank you for saving my finger. As tragic as it might have been to have destroyed this perfectly magnificent piece of jewelry, in the end I saved her finger. Maybe I could propose to her with half a ring. Oh no. My weekend getaway has been ruined. Because her sister has fat fingers. Smash like if he deserves that. He looked like the dude that could just buy another. He's the type of guy to complain to customer service and be like, Do you know who I am? I can literally buy you. Those are the kind of vibes I'm getting from him. Anyways, if that didn't give you enough anxiety, here's a boy stuck on the playground. You know, this was an actual legitimate fear of mine when I was a kid. I'm like, if I get stuck in this, how will I get out of it? It's always so tempting to go down the middle, but you can't. For real though, how do you get out of this? Somebody's gotta like pull you out or like pop you, like squeeze you like a pimple. Do they have to literally like call the firefighters and have them remove it? Don't put your head in places where it doesn't belong. Like at chair 
hole. What is a chair hole for anyway? I know the two metal things like on the back side of it are for pulling your hair. These chairs, your hair would do nothing but get stuck in these two metal circles of suffering. <laughs> How did this happen? How? The only way is if a tree had like a secret doorway and you'd crawl up the doorway and then you have become the tree. This is my face, but this is my body. <gasps> This is a fear I never knew I had. You could get stuck in a porta potty? Hell no, hell no. How did this happen? He was just sitting on it for a little too long that it like collapsed? I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. Ew. You know, when I was in Peru, the porta potties would be like a hut and then there would be a hole in the ground and then that's it. No toilet paper, no hand sanitizer, no nothing. Just a hole in the ground. And you best believe it smelled. It smelled dank. That was the dankest smell I ever smelled deep breaths because I I feel like I can't breathe looking at this picture So he tried to rob a CVS store and got himself stuck in the air ducts Listen here. You ain't no solid snake You tried to sneak around but you dummy thick and you got yourself stuck At least he admit that he went in and attempts to rob the store I would have just been like I don't know I woke up like this and I was here I don't know how I got here that might actually just work. Oh classic We got the kids stuck in the toy machine as if it it was hard enough to win a toy from there. Now you gotta try to win your child all over again. Just grab his big old head by the claw and eject him. <laughs> if only life worked that way. But it doesn't. Then you just gotta call maintenance or whatever to get him out. Is he really eating the candy while he's stuck in there? He's like, at least I got my candy while mommy has to figure out how to get me out. I'ma be enjoying my Tootsie Pop. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below. Let me know if you've ever gotten stuck anywhere. And for bonus luck to never get stuck Stuff. Make sure you hit that like button in the face and subscribe to the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys